Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really pretty Christmas tree dress form type thing using a two of the wire garbage cans from Dollar Tree. Now, a couple places in this video, the audio is just a little wonky. Sorry for that in advance. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. All righty, y'all. Let us get started. So for this entire craft here, you're going to need two of these. Okay, these are the wire waste baskets from Dollar Tree. So I left the tag on here. See, these are from Dollar Tree. And I need to cut this off. Should have cut it off a while ago. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, you're going to need two. One for the top, like the bodice part, and then one for the bottom. So we're going to start on the bodice part first. And what you want to do is think about a dress, you know, like how the top of a like a corset type dress would look and that's how we're going to mold this now these are really squishy really really easy to bend but you may need some pliers okay there's some kind of pliers like this if you have trouble with your hands these pliers are really going to come in handy anyway what we're going to do find the front of your basket some of these have a seam on them see you see this seam right here like where they kind of like um, welded it together make sure that's on the back <laughs> So I'm just gonna take this, and it takes a little bit of pressure here, but we're gonna take this part and we're gonna bend it so that it's kind of coming down into a V, okay? You just have to take a minute. Let's see, let me turn it this way. Okay, so we got this bend going here, okay? Got this bend going here. Now we want this part to kind of come down to this part. You see how when I kind of bent that, I don't want to say it's exactly halfway down. Eh, it's a little bit over halfway, I think, from the bottom. But anyway, I've got this part kind of bent, and that's that's going to help us out. And now we're going to take our pliers here, and you see like where this is bent? I'm just going to try to like put it right here, and just kind of squish this down just a little bit. And I'm just going to kind of go around just a little bit with it, just to kind of bring it a little bit closer together. Now let's go straight up. I know this is probably a little bit difficult to <laughs> explain. Go up just a little bit. And now we're gonna start bending this part down here. Like I said, you're gonna need some pliers for this part here. Just kinda, and it's hard for me to do on camera. I'm gonna tell you that. It's hard for me to do on camera, but we're just gonna kinda start bending it up See like how I did that right there? Now we're wanting to take these here and kind of just bend them together too. And I'm gonna work on that here just for a second and then you're gonna see what I'm talking about, okay? So hold on just one minute. Okay, so now you can see kind of how I'm doing it here. I like to hold it down in my lap. It's a lot easier for me to hold it down in my lap and do it than it is for me to try to do it on camera. Now squeezing it with the pliers a while ago kind of helps you to, to get it formed, okay? And then we're just going to kind of, kind of just press it around. So you can see how I'm doing it. Just trying to kind of get like the bodice of the dress going here. And it's just going to take you a minute. I'm not really doing too much with the back. I'm just trying to keep it all on the front. Okay. But as you can see, once you get this initial little part here bent, the rest of it is not nearly as difficult. So we're just going to keep bending this down like so. And then just kind of pressing this out. And then you just really have to take the time to form everything, okay? That's what takes up the time on this one. So I am just going to continue forming this, trying to get everything right. And then we'll come back and start putting it together. Okay, so I've gotten this pretty well formed. Like I said, it just takes you a minute just to get everything formed, okay? Use your pliers whenever you have to, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with this so far. The main thing that you're looking for is like this V-shaped dip right here. Everything else you can go back and work with later on, getting everything formed. But this part is really important. You know, to make it look like a dress. So now we're gonna set this off to the side. 
start working on the skirt part. Okay, now, if you want to, go ahead and attach your two baskets together right here and hold it together with some zip ties. You can do that first if you want to before you start putting the skirt on, but for the sake of the video, I'm not gonna do that. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, work with it to make it easier for me to do on video. But you're gonna need some of this branch garland. I'm using the non-lit kind because we're gonna be cutting this, okay? You don't want the kind that has the lights on it if you're gonna be cutting it. Now, Dollar Tree does carry some garland. My store was out, so that's why I'm not using Dollar Tree garland. But anyway, let's unwind some of this and then I'll show you what we we're gonna do. So you wanna measure your gar, stop. You wanna measure your garland just kind of straighten it out a little bit here. And you want to make sure it comes down to the bottom here. And then also comes all the way up here near the top. Okay. So up here near the top is where you want to cut it. Right here. Now I'm going to use my handy dandy oh, wire cutters. <laughs> I've taped to the table somehow. <laughs> all right. So now that you have your piece cut... Let's fluff it out a little bit, just a little bit, okay? And then try to decide where we want it here. All right, now let's get some zip ties. The zip ties that I'm using, these are the four inch ones, okay? And you get a hundred of them in a pack. I got these at Walmart. Now, if you wanna put lights on this, which I'm going to, if you wanna put lights on it, you can go ahead and start putting the lights on and zip tying those in place. If you don't want lights, then don't use lights. And you know what? I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might go ahead and zip tie these lights on. Like I said, I'm trying to think of the easiest way to do this for the camera. <laughs> but I do have some lights, so let's get those. Okay, so I've got my lights. These are blue, and I got these at Walmart. Let's see, they were $2.24. Sorry, I didn't mean to shine the light on that, but $2.24. Make sure that you check your color because here in a little bit, I'm gonna use some blue Christmas ornaments in the top of this thing. So I wanted my lights to match. Now I'm not worried about the battery pack showing because you know what? It's gonna hide up and underneath your basket here. So now we can just take some zip ties and just attach the lights however you want to on the inside. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll go this way just to make it easier to trim off the ends. I think might be the best way. I don't know. You put them on however you want to put them on. Anyway, I'm just going to put this on like here. Like here. <laughs> like this. And then I want to try to pull it through a little bit because it's. Uh, I think it might be difficult, you know, to see them through the greenery. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to see. Okay, we'll see. Now, the last one that I made like this didn't have any lights on it. But anyway, I'm just going to keep fastening the lights on here, just here, there, and everywhere, just to hold it in. And then we'll come back and put on some greenery. Okay. So, these lights are on. And look, you can rearrange them later, okay? Just get them on there. Don't, don't worry about it right now. Don't worry about anything until you get all your greenery on, okay? Then you can really take a step back and look and rearrange everything. Nothing is gonna look perfect or, or good right when you're starting off, okay? So don't even worry about it. But now all that you're gonna do, you're just gonna attach your greenery all the way around, okay? You see like how I'm gonna start right up here? I'm gonna take this zip tie and you can just run it through like so. And I'm just gonna tighten that down, okay? And then put this in. Now you might want to not only fasten it down up here at the top, but maybe put one kind of like in the middle, you know, to also help hold it down there. If you have cats, dogs, and feral children running around, they might knock it off. <laughs> All right, okay, so I fastened that right there. And like I said, you might wanna put one right here too, right around in here. But anyway, I'm just gonna keep cutting off these pieces of garland and I'm gonna fasten them to the basket all the way around. And then we'll come back and see what that looks like. Alrighty, I'm not even all the way around this thing, but I'm tired of this greenery right now and I've got somewhere that I need to be here in a little bit. So I'm gonna wrap this video up and then I will continue putting the greenery on the back here in a little bit. Now, this is gonna be a little bit difficult for me to show on camera and I'm sorry um, that this is the way my camera setup is, but it is how it is. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your bodice part 
and you're just going to set it on top. And I need to trim some of these with my wire cutters, okay? And I'll do that here in a minute. But you're just going to set this on top. And then you're going to take your zip ties here. And we are going to use the zip ties and attach this to this. And you can see you can do it right here on the edge. Or you can go in through the top and attach some right here, which I might do that. Attach some right here. And then, you know, run your hand up through the bottom of the skirt part and kind of fasten them on. But um, you need to fasten that down. <laughs> like I said, I know that's difficult to see, but I'm just going to fasten it together with these zip ties. Okay, so I've got this fastened to this. And I know, like I said, that this is very difficult to see. And I'm sorry, it is what it is. But now I have some of this ribbon. Isn't this pretty? This ribbon. Where does this ribbon come from? Walmart, I believe. I'm just going to cut a strip of ribbon, and we're going to use this sort of like a sash around the, I'm going to call it our, our dress, around our dress here. So let's see about how much, I want the majority of it to be on this upper piece, you know. So let's see. We'll just roll this around and cut a piece that fits. Okay, so don't worry about fluffing out any of your greenery right now, okay? Don't worry about any of that. We'll worry about that later. Now, because I'm going to put a bow on this, and of course the bow is going to be on the front, I'm just going to go ahead and we can glue this down on the front here just so that, you know, we don't have a big, a big fold in the back. So I'm just going to hold that down right there and let that glue completely set up. And then I'm going to wrap it around and then we'll glue it back right here. Okay, so we just have that piece of ribbon just wrapped around here. And now if you see on this ribbon, there's a there's a design. Oh, I got a bit of floof. Get the floof. There's a little design right there. I just cut that design out. And what I want to do is I want to glue it right here. Whoa, glue string. Why are you here? Okay, let's just glue that down right there. And I'm going to not burn myself. <laughs> I'll hold that in place until that sets up, sits there, sets up, until it hardens. <laughs> hold on. Okay, so the glue has set up here, and now we're going to make a bow to go here. Now, the way that I make my bow, y'all see me make these bows. Why are you rolling around? Y'all see me make these bows a gazillion times, but anyway, you take your ribbon and try to decide how wide you want the bow, Okay. I'm going to say about like this, because, you know, when you when you fluff your bow, it's going to draw it and make it more narrow. So give yourself a little extra room. I'm going to say about here. Now we're going to fold that in half and we're going to cut the ribbon okay, right there. And I'm going to cut two pieces. So we're going to cut another one. Do to do. OK, we cut another one here. Same length. And then if you want tails, decide how long you want your tails. Let's say if you want the tail that long, then you need to cut a piece double that length, okay? Just like we did for the loops. Okay, now that you have the two pieces for your loops cut, you want to put the back side of the ribbon up, and then you're just going to glue these into loops, okay? I'm not putting a whole lot of hot glue on here, just enough to get the ends to stick together, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing with this piece up here so that we have two loops. So now that we have both of our loops and I think that this glue has set up, now you're gonna need the floral wire that you just lost. Ha <laughs> ha, here it is, floral wire. I wish I had my silver kind, but I don't. I have the green and that's what we're gonna be working with today. All right, so I'm just gonna take my piece of wire here and let's just kind of fold that in half right there, okay. All right, so now let's make sure. Uh oh, uh oh, did I just glue this together? It happens. <laughs> it happens sometimes. It's okay. Just fix it. All right, so this is where you glued it together. You want that to be on the back, okay? So now let's just find the midpoint here, and you're just going to bend it forward and then bend it back, okay? And then bend that part back and see you have a nice little bow tie here. So now you're going to do the same thing with this piece. Bend it forward then bend it back and then bend this back. And now you have two little bow ties. And then you're just going to put them together 
like so. Okay, and then you're gonna have a piece of greenery you get stuck in here. You know what, when you start working with that garland, it gets everywhere. So now we have the midpoint where we folded our floral wire. Just wrap that around your boat just to hold everything in place, okay? Just to hold it all together. Okay, I'm just gonna tighten that down a little bit like so. Now let's give it a good twist. And I will have a link for you down in the description box where I go in depth, you know, a lot more slowly with this bow. But like I said, y'all see me make this a bunch of times. So this is a piece that I cut for the tails. As you can see, I kind of dovetailed the end there. And you just kind of scrunch it up right there in the middle. Now this is the front of our bow. And this is the centerpiece for our tail. Just plop it down right there and then just wrap the wire around it again. It's going to hold the tail on. And then just twist it in the back. And then I'm going to trim that away. And let's start with the middle piece. Okay, so this is our bow so far. Don't worry. I know it's a little flat. It's a little flat. It'll be okay. We're going to fluff it up here in a little bit. Now this is just a strip of the ribbon that I cut. And you're going to fold the edges over like so. See how I did that? And now that's going to be our center. I'm going to put just the tiniest little blob of glue here on the very side. You don't want to put a lot because then you don't want that glue, you know, to show through the front. I'm just putting a little bit there just to kind of hold everything in place because this ribbon here with all the glitter and everything, it's very, um, very slippery. And it's been a pain in the tush to work with, I will tell you that. But anyway, now I'm going to put glue on the back and we're just going to fold this over and hold that in place. And then we'll take this piece and fold it over and glue it in place. Now, I believe everything is holding together pretty well. It's holding together better than I am. So let's straighten out the tails here. Just bring these down. If they're too long, just trim them away. But anyway, I'm going to fluff this up just a little bit now. So you just fluff up your loopy loops. And then I'm going to glue it to our dress. Okay, so now we're back with our dress. Just glue your bow down. Just run out of hot glue and need another stick. My goodness. I know people keep telling me to glue the sticks together and it'll feed into the glue gun better. I don't like doing that. If you like doing that, you know, that's absolutely fine. I don't like it. Okay, so now we're going to put the bow. And I want the bow to be off to the side a little bit. And I think I've got that. Ugh, I've got glitter and stuff all over me. So I'm going to hold this bow until that glue sets up. Okay. So now we're back sideways. I know the people out there are probably getting aggravated. It'll be all right. <laughs> but now anyway, I have these little silver balls. This is vase filler. And I got this from Dollar Tree. Now listen, I don't like how plain this is up here. Now yeah, we are going to be filling this up with some Christmas ornaments. But I wanted just a little extra something something up here. And as you can see, these come in several different sizes. You have the big ones and then the medium sized ones and then the small ones. And I think I'm just going to alternate some. Um, see, I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue right there. This is the small one. And then I'm just going to place it right there. And then I'm just going to glue these all the way around this rim right here, just alternating the sizes. I want to do the small, then the medium, then the large, then the medium and small, you know, like that. So anyway, I'm going to do that and I'll be back. Okay, so I've got all of these glued on all around here and all around the back. You can probably see it through there. But now I'm going to put some ornaments down in here. Now the blue ones that I wanted to use, they, they don't look good with this ribbon, but I have some black. I have some black ornaments and I was just playing around with that. And I think the black looks really good. It makes it actually look like, you know, a bodice that goes into the skirt. So I'm going to fill this up with black ornaments. And then you've seen it at the beginning of the video, but I'm going to show a picture of it again. <laughs> and, um, I may glue some of these down here to the skirt, you know, just to give it a little extra something, something. Um, make it kind of look like snow or something, you know, glittery on the, uh, on the skirt. Because this is a little plain, and y'all know I don't like plain things. But anyway, let me do that, and then you will see it. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. Links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.